All right, so right here, we have a tiny CCO one, and um, the one of the front dog bones up here is bent. So um, I ordered some new ones. These are actually from WL Toys. What I did is I just took out the dog bone, and I measured it, and I just looked up generic. I just I just went on Amazon and I looked up dog bones that were two inches long, and um, this is what it came up with. These are WL Toys, so they might not fit. They might fit. They look like they're about the right size, so let's see. In case you're wondering, the only tools you need for this are a Phillips screwdriver and a seven millimeter socket. It's really simple. Just take the um, bolt out, pull the wheel off, pull the hex head off. Don't you don't lose the pin. Take out these two screws. Took the one off on the other side. Oh. So let's just screw her out. You can pull this away. Ta da! This is the good one. It's the one on the other side, which is bent. It's actually this one is bent. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's like really bent. You can see I had, there's some marks on it because I tried to straighten it back out with a vice grip and it was not working. It doesn't even sit straight. So we have these new ones from WL Toys. And if we take a look at them, they're a little bit different. They're slightly longer. But I think that they're going to... See, I'll compare it with the new one. But I think that they're going to fit, probably. Because, I mean, it's it's all about the same. It might be slightly looser, but I think it'll, I think it'll work. So, let's see. I just said that it was broken. That fits in there perfectly fine. Not too loose. Now... For this goes in here. There's a bearing. And oh, that fits that fits perfectly fine. Oh look at that. That fits perfect. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy those. And those fit perfectly fine in there and it's not even the right brand so if you have a time you cc1 and you're having a hard time finding those dog bones i'll leave a link in the description where you can buy those at i just bought them off of amazon and they came in two days so we'll see now it appears that i lost my pin that goes in this side. I didn't lose one on that side, but I lost this side. So what I'm gonna do, and this is a very helpful trick, is if you have a nail laying around that's about the right diameter to fit through that hole, you can just shear it off. So here, let's go off. So here I took the uh, one from the, the pin from the other side, so I can use it to find the length. And this is just a regular old nail. I think it's about the right diameter. And so I'm just gonna grab some shears. Some simple shears like this and um, measure it out at what I think it'll approximately be and uh, shear it off. That's it. All right, so here's the old one. Here's the uh, new one out of the screw. It's slightly smaller and a little bit shorter. Slightly smaller in diameter and a little bit shorter, but I think it'll work. So now new dog bones in. Homemade pin in
Oh. Use internet twisted. Hex is on. Now, put your wheel on. Look at that. It's like it was made for it. Right, so um, I uh, got it all set up and installed. Um, it appears to be working. If I just run it for a second. There's no horrible, there's no flopping around, there's no bad noises. Everything looks like it's going good. It moves forward and backward. No problems. For those of you who are wondering about this body, it came off of a, a cheaper RC car that I used to have a long time ago that um, stopped working. And when it stopped working, I don't know, that's the brain. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but once it stopped working, it turns out that this body has almost the exact same wheelbase as the Timea CC1. I didn't even have to make any modifications to the, to the suspension linkage or anything. It was like the perfect wheelbase for it. So all that I did was just buy some smaller wheels that fit better in the wheel wells because the original wheels that came on the time you were were these and uh, those were not going to fit in the wheel wells so bought some smaller wheels that fit in the wheel wells much better leaves plenty of room for the travel so that's good um and then i just cut the bed out of the truck because this truck originally came with this bed in it so um it wasn't going to be able to sit down in here so i just cut this bed out and out so it can sit down lower on the frame and obviously now that the car is screwed down to the uh, chassis i mean now that the body's screwed down to the chassis there's no way to get the battery in and out without unscrewing the whole thing so the easiest way to do it was just to uh i stuck a little i stuck a wood platform in the bed as far down as i could get it because the chassis is right there and then i just uh Put a, some Velcro on there for the battery and ran the wires up here. So yeah, that's it. If you're wondering about the body, it's working. Everything appears to be doing okay. So uh, let's go drive it. All right. So this is it on 3S. I've never run this on 3S before. I don't know why, it just never occurred to me. So now we're gonna run it on 3S. It's uh, rainy outside. So I'm just gonna do some donuts on the tile floor. This is just the stock brushed motor, by the way. So, we'll do all this on the stock brushed motor. There you 
There you go. There's my Taimia CC01 street truck on 3S. This thing's a blast. Can't wait to take it outside. I think this thing will do a wheelie. It wants to, but I don't have enough room to do it. Yeah, it'll, it'll lift up the front end a little bit. There we go. But I don't have enough room. So the conclusion of the video is that uh, the new um, dog bone uh, wheel sh shafts work uh, very well so i'll leave a link in the description to those wl toys uh wheel shafts in case you uh have a cco one and can't find any original shafts either so you can buy those but yeah it was very successful car runs great works great so yeah that's it